Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to calculate the time period by logarithm time fitting method. And for that, we will be in a requirement of some data of a laboratory consolidation and from which we will be drawing the graph for any one pressure. Now, so for calling that data, we will be using the VLOOKUP function and the MATCH function. So VLOOKUP, lookup value is this one, that is zero. And the table will be hold and dollar sign. Column index will be the MATCH function. Lookup value that is 0.8, which will be again fixed. Lookup array will be the first row of our table again it will be the fix now we want exact mile that is zero. okay sorry I forgot the comma we want exact match okay again okay. comma false for the exact match and simply drag and double click or you can do the drag drop and over here this is our data now for plotting the graph we will be going to the insert we will go to the chart and select the xy scatter chart okay it has selected its data directly now we will be changing it to the x axis to the log scale and it will show that there will be the no zero value okay now We need to convert the in reverse order as well as we will be changing its label to the label. Okay, now from the data, now we will be removing this more portion which is not in requirement. So we, I will start with 30. So which will more make your graph more clear and look pleasant now as per the theory of your log with logarithmic time fitting method okay we will be selecting a point that is t1 time that is 0.25 i have selected 0.25 you can select anyone you can select 1 2.25 or 4 okay now i have selected 0.25 and the value against it reading of the time 0.25 is 37 now what i will do as per theory that i will multiply 0.25 into 4 times which will give us the another time that is t2 okay so now the at t2 time the reading is 38 okay now what i will do that i need to plot rc now rc is what that the difference between these two points that is t1 and t2 time okay the direct reading difference between t1 and t2 time is 1 okay now what I will do that I will subtract this value from the T1 time. So it is 36. So our starting point is 36. Okay. That is RC will be 
36. Now for plotting over here, we will be required for an XY coordinates and I will show you that Y so that it will be in an easy way so that you can easily understand the XY coordinates are required for plotting the lines which we are seeing in the theories. Okay. Now for the XY coordinate, I will be giving the name as A, A, A and B, B. Okay. Now, you can clearly see that the I have selected of chart that is 0.25 that is 37 okay so the point is over here and let me remove this 0 side so that it can be joined okay now this one is your 0.25 and it's 37 so i will be starting with 0.2 and over here will be 36 Actually, it will be called from over here. Again, it will be the same. I will go for three. Now, I will go to select data, add. This will be on the X and this will be on the Y. So, now you can see there is a line of an orange color. Now, Moving ahead, we will draw the second gain of 0.2 and 3. The third one it will be of 38. We will start it from 1 and we will end on again 3. So, in the similar way, we will be add these two also. Now you can see, okay, we will change this one to, okay, this is our A and this is our B that is, as per the theory, we need to find out when we are selecting a certain time that is, we, I have selected 0.25. So from that, it is told as a T1. Now we will multiply it by creating by four times means we will multiply it for four times that is 0.25 into 4 which will give us 1 and at the value of 1 we are having the value of 38 so the difference between 37 and 38 that is 0.25 and 1 is 1 so 37 minus 1 which will give us rc that is 36 now for plotting R100, okay, we will be in a requirement of plotting the value of R100. So, as per theory, that when you are, you need to draw a tangent in such a way that it touches the maximum point of your graph. Okay, so, now we will draw the tangent for the R100 part. Okay, for that, we can see that it's a straight line for the number 86. So we will directly write down over here 86. Again, we will call it from the upward. Now, I have plot this on y axis. Now, for x axis, we need to see uh, 600 to 100. Okay, so I will write down 80 over here and 600 over here now it is for horizontal now we need a tangent from this side okay so for that we will be doing starting from 80 
to okay uh, i will be writing number 65 to 35 and 90 okay randomly i have written down that data now we will add and we will see the changes x y Okay, now you clearly see, let me bring it down so that we can clearly adjust. Okay, 82 is way outside, so let me bring it over here. Which is around 49. Sorry, I need to change this. Okay, so it has moved over here. Now we it touches the maximum points. So from that now we can find out that the value of 86. So I will write down over here as 86. Now, the formula for R50 will be okay, that is 0 plus bracket R100 minus RC, okay, and whole divided by 2. So it is 61. Now, first of all, we will need to convert this 61 is given as a dial gauge reading. Okay. So we need to find out at 61 dial gauge what time it is. So we will be calling some data 61 over here and we will try to match it from the our selected data. We will be using the forecast function with offset and match. Now, in the forecast function, you can we can see that there is a x known y and known x. Okay. Now our x is that is sixty one. Now for that sixty one value, we need to find out the value of y from this table. Okay. So our known y will be from the offset function reference will be the our row of time rows will be of in the match lookup values of 61 and where it needs to look in the dial gauge reading comma now we won't be finding out the 61 value in as a exit so we will find out as less than now what we will do rows we will reduce that it should go one row below so that is minus one for column we don't need to change any column so it is zero and for height we will be using two okay now for the known x again offset reference will be this row okay now match lookup value will be the our 61 again lookup array will be the, this one match will be the one bracket close row will be minus one zero two don't forget to close all of your brackets and enter now we are getting a value as 40.33 now we can see over here that it is 49 and 64 sorry we can see over here that it is 59 and 65 the value will be between time will be between 36 and 49 it's 40.33 now tiff 50 will be in the seconds and this is in 
minute so we will multiply this value by 60 so or t50 is 2420 seconds thank you for watching the video